Hi, everyone. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk, and welcome to Digital Champions, where we speak to some of the most innovative thinkers in the digital space. And joining us today from Linden, Utah, is Damian Dayton with Creatively. Damian, thank you so much for joining us today on Digital Champions. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. So tell us what you create at Creatively. Uh, very simply put, we create long form ads for social media, specifically Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok that help companies grow incredibly fast. We help companies go from 5 million to 30 million a year or 30 million to 100 million a year. And we build long form ads uh, that help people achieve their goals in a really short amount of time. Now, long form ads, short amount of time. Tell me how you reconcile the two. Well, uh, as businesses can tend to move really slowly, but to grow exponentially in a year is, is a big deal. So one of our clients, uh, we started with a three minute ad, but in 45 days, we took them from 35,000 a day to, uh, or from 35,000 a month to 35,000 a day. And that's how we do it. We like commercials that will engage people for four to five minutes, um, but that grow, that can, uh, achieve high ROASes and help companies put money back into their advertising spend and continue to grow. Yep. That's when they see advertising and marketing as an investment versus a cost. But share with me a little bit about, I think the whole mantra has been, it's got to be shorter. It's got to be quick. You know, the TikTok world, the, you know, the, the, the attention span of viewers today. So share with us how that three minute, and, and as you call kind of three minute as a long format, how you're able to really capture someone's attention for that time and kind of buck what everybody else is being told about. It's got to be quick. It's got to be fast. Well, conventional wisdom is zig when everybody says zag. I think there's no better way to make somebody hate your brand than to make them watch a five-second commercial that they can't skip. So we look at our four-minute commercial as having to earn every 15 seconds of view. And so as long as it's engaging and entertaining, people watch it. Movies have actually gotten longer in the last two years. Uh, uh, both YouTube and Instagram have both encouraged longer content. Uh, and so we earn every 15 seconds. And we do a retention curve analysis on every single commercial and look at a second-by-second -second analysis of how people are interacting. So in a skippable ad where you can skip as soon as you see it, I have to earn every second. Uh, and it drives, drives CPMs down. Our cost per view is really, really low. But I get to spend you know, four to five minutes with a consumer and I can have a valuable conversation, not just a quick joke. And here's our brand mention. I can talk about what our product is and what it does. And, and especially if you have a product that's disruptive and you need to explain how this is a better, different way of doing it than anybody else has been doing it. Um, we really think that time is necessary. So we do it by doing, being highly entertaining and highly engaging. Uh, so, We've done it with Pillow Cube, Thread Wallet, Stair Slide, some products that need some explaining. Uh, but the most common comment on our commercials is, wow, love the commercial. I watched it again. Um, and there's a lot of five second and 15 second commercials that you're just waiting to skip. And, and that's kind of our mantra. How do we, we earn the views and give people what they want, not just an interruption from what they're watching? And on your site, you have your 6D quiz, which is what you said was a great segue into this. And it, and it says, you know, demonstrable. You know, how wide can your audience be? Could everyone use your product? Does everyone know someone who could? Disruptive, to your point. Um, deliverable, desirable, dollars for distribution. So then you have a little rate yourself at the bottom. So what do you do with that, that kind of self-quiz that people do when you find kind of what their number ends up being on that 1 to 10 scale? So we have our formula and framework for what we think makes a video work, but not every company is a great fit for our agency. So uh, our agency, actually, every executive from our ad buyers and performance team to our creatives, look at the results from that, and we rank those companies individually as well. And we say, is this company ripe for growth? We don't do a lot of advertising for our own brand. All of our work comes from successful campaigns for other brands and they bring their friends to us. So really we look at the most important metric to us is if we can grow their company, it will bring us more work. So we have a 5D analysis we do on every brand that we work with. And sometimes it's not if they're a great fit, but what are the problems that an ad campaign might need to fix? Um, you know, so we work great with new brands, disruptive brands, really democratic brands, um, brands that don't have a, too specific a niche, and we help them open the, the top of their funnel 
and at the same time bring performance at the top of their sales funnel. Bring David, sales we have about as well. thir- 30 seconds left. I'm sorry to cut you off there. 30 seconds left, and I want to say, I want to ask you because I think everybody's probably listening to this and they're like, yes, we love creativity, we love engaging content. What platforms are friendly to that three minute kind of format? Currently, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. TikTok is actually increasing their ad time that they're allowing things to come to. We're even seeing stuff on Snapchat. Um, and there's a lot of tertiary and quaternary media that we're using as well. But mainly those four are all being very friendly to our long-form content right now. Well, as a former news journalist who love, would love a nice, you know, one minute, two minute, three minute opportunity to tell a story, I love to see that this art form is still alive and well and engaging audiences. Damien, thank you so much for joining us today on Digital Champions. Shirlene, thank you so much for your time. Have a great one. Thank you. You too. And if you'd like to learn more about what they're doing at Creatively, you can check them out on dailyadbrief.com. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Digital Champions, and we look forward to learning something new with you next time. Simplify presents addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.